Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to show how to use Google Drive with the iPad version of ZBrush. So let's say you're on an older version of ZBrush, something uh, before 2025, you can see I'm in 2024, and there's no Go iPad button, okay? So what do you do? Well, I'm gonna show you how to save it to the Google Drive, and then with the Google Drive, how to send that to the iPad, okay? So again, let's go ahead and just get started. This is gonna be real quick. So if I take this foot, I'm gonna go ahead and export. And right now, I'll just save this to the desktop. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna say desktop, and I'm gonna say foot underscore OBJ and save it as an OBJ file. I'll also save as, and I'm gonna save it as um, on the desktop again. And I'll save it as a ZTL, okay? Uh, foot underscore ZTL. Okay, cool. So now if I minimize all this stuff, I can see here I have called practice foot ZTL and it looks like practice OBJ, okay? Well, now what? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to um, okay so if I go to google.com okay so let me see here I would need a Gmail at minimum okay a Gmail account if you don't have one you can sign up free and when you sign up for Gmail you can see it looks like this up in the upper right hand corner when you're logged in and if I go to these dots I get kind of extra apps. One of the extra apps is Google Drive, which is basically like being able to save it to the cloud. So if I click on Google Drive, you can see that I save a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna to go to my drive, okay? I'm gonna just, I could put it into a folder, but just to make it easy, I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna say new folder. I'm gonna call this iPad ZBrush files. Okay, there it is. So if I open that up, now if I put both of these in here, it's gonna upload to the, the cloud, okay? So it's automatically just kind of saving there, and now I'm gonna to try to access those on the iPad. And I feel like, I'm sure you probably have done this, and then sometimes um, could run into some trouble. So if I go like this, if I say new sculpts, um, or I could just go to import actually at the bottom here, and now you can see that, hey, here's Drive, okay? And if I go to Drive, again, I, I just hit Import at the bottom. If I go to Drive, I can go find, um, I should be, oh, here it is, ZBrush iPad. And if I click on this, I can see that I can't click on those files, okay? So what's actually happening here? Um, because those projects or those files are actually compatible with ZBrush, but there is one step that I need to do before I do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to be in um, ZBrush here first. Instead, I'm gonna go to the Drive app on my iPad. Okay, so again, you can see that I just, there's the Drive app. So I downloaded Google Drive on the iPad then I can go to the Google Drive, or I can go to my folder here. So you can see here's my um, iPad ZBrush files. If I click on that, here's the files. So I can see them again here. And if I click on this, now I can hit download. And now it's actually downloading the file to my thing. And what I can do here is I can say, hey, where do I wanna save it to? And you can see I could actually save it to the um, the drive, but I can hit save to files, and then I can just, um, I'll just gonna hit save. And what it's doing is saving into my download. And then I can go here, I go download, and now I can say save to files, save, okay. Now, so it seems like that's kind of a weird step, right? Um, but now if I go back to ZBrush, now if I go to import, okay, now I just go to downloads um, here, or I'm sorry, I go to on my iPad here. And if I go to ZBrush, uh, no, it looks like downloads. 
Uh, where was that? Or I'll go to recent. Uh, practice foot. There it is. Okay. So if I go to practice um, foot, boom. There it is. Okay. And I can see that that actually was the ZTL. So that's bringing in a ZBrush file from something other than uh, ZBrush 2025. So that's pretty cool. And if I wanted to, um, let's say if I was in this screen, I could go like this, click on this import button, 3D model, and then I could say import. And then if it's an OBJ, I could hit select file. And there it's going into the right place. So it is, it looks like it is on the iPad. Whoop, select file. And um, now this one, it says OBJ MTL. So what that's telling me is that it's the material file of the OBJ. So you have to be careful with that because OBJ produces two files. It produces a material file and an OBJ file. So I feel like what I needed to do is actually drop the actual OBJ file in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick here. So again, if I go back to my Google Drive, I can see that I actually dropped in the m.mtl, which is the material file, and I don't, I don't want that. I want this one, which is the actual OBJ. So I'll drop that in. I'll let that upload. And then I'm gonna to go to Drive. I'll go to uh, ZBrush iPad Files. And again, I'm just waiting for it to finish. And when it's done uploading, it's almost done uploading, I should see it pop up here. Okay, and if I don't, I'm just gonna come back, ZBrush. Refresh, aha, there it is. Now I'll hit download. And I'll hit save to files. I'll hit, don't forget to hit save here. There it is. Now again, if I go back to ZBrush, there it is, practice OBJ. If I click on that, now it's gonna come in and it, it's gonna look exactly the same because it's the same file, but you can see that I have the ZTL foot and here's the OBJ foot, okay? So again, really cool um, using Google Drive to communicate with ZBrush on the iPad. So again, let me know if you have any questions, like and subscribe if you like this stuff, and I will see you next time. Thanks guys.